Well, one of the central business storylines of the coronavirus crisis has been the shortage of so-called N95 respirator face masks. The filtration systems keep out at least 95 percent of particles. Now, America's largest supplier of those masks has gone into overdrive to meet demand. And that's where we find Seema Modi. She is live at 3M's manufacturing plant in Aberdeen, South Dakota, where they are working literally around the clock. Seema. That's right, Tyler. 3M's key objective is to make sure every factory around the U.S. is operating at maximum capacity. All hands on deck here in Aberdeen, yet it's still unclear whether the industrial giant will be able to fulfill every order that's coming in around the world for these respirators. Fast-tracking production of the N95 respirator is no easy task. 3M ramping up hiring, hosting job fairs, and making offers on the spot. Here in Aberdeen, South Dakota, at one of its largest manufacturing facilities, 3M has added robots to its assembly line, all in an effort to meet the surge in demand for its face masks. We immediately ramped up production in this facility. Uh, we have capacity to do that, and we've done that immediately. Really from more of a standard five-day week to, to more of a seven-day week, uh, with additional equipment as well that we've been able to bring in and turn on. The most popular mask is the N95 respirator, which has become the symbol of the fight against the coronavirus. From the streets of Beijing, soccer games in Japan, to Milan's Fashion Week, healthcare workers and citizens around the world are using the mask to reduce the risk of infection. According to the CDC, the respirator filters 95% of airborne particles. But with demand so high, it's increasingly difficult to find or order one on e-commerce sites like Amazon. And 60% of large-scale pharmacies have essentially run out, according to the HHS. We're seeing outbreaks develop in new countries every day. But even the countries where there isn't a widespread outbreak are working really hard to prepare right now in case they do have that situation. As the risk of a U.S. outbreak rises, workers here in Aberdeen are determined to produce as many respirators as possible. We know what we have to do. Um, we know we need to keep our numbers up. We know we need to keep ourselves safe. And we need to put out great quality, and that's what we come here to do. Shares of 3M ended the week down by 4.3 percent, but it did perform better than the broader S&P 500. In fact, Melius research shows that the stock did outperform during the 2002 SARS epidemic.